Hey everybody, how we doing today? I'm going to be doing a few system improvements today, like sound deadening and adding some threaded inserts to the box. Um, I haven't done anything to the system since I built the box. But since it's been in, the box has been sliding around. My other box was carpeted and it didn't slide. This one with the smooth finish on the carpet slides around. It's actually taken some damage from the uh, trunk brackets here. There's a little bit of rash there on the box. It's really not bad. And then I have some on this side. It's a little worse, but it's not that bad. I'll just do some light sanding and repolyurethane those spots and you'll never see them. So that's what today's video is going to be. I've never used uh, threaded inserts before. So I'm going to be installing threaded inserts in the box. So I can do L brackets so my box will quit sliding around. I just didn't want to be putting a bunch of screws in the box. So I'm doing something a little more permanent like threaded brass inserts. So this should work out great and, and look good too. Also, I'm going to be sound deadening the rear deck because it's moving a lot and sounds like crap on the inside. And probably this back panel here I need to pop off because it's just getting hammered. It's actually been pulled off a little bit from the base. I need to get a new clip down here as you can see. So, it's definitely got more low end. I mean, like, mid-30s is just crazy violent. So, I mean, I, I only have an RP-1500, but still, it's slamming. It's a major improvement over a prefab box. So, anyway, I'm just going to get to taking the trunk apart, pulling the box out. So, as you can see, things have went a little further than I was expecting. The more I took things apart, the more I realized the whole trunk had to come out. So that's what we're doing. Everything's taken apart. My board's ready to come out. And uh, I'm going to be removing all the carpet panels and everything so I can get a look at all the raw metal and start sound deadening from there. So basically this has turned into a trunk reconstruct now. So... Let's just keep going here and see what else we can get into. I got all the carpet panels and stuff pulled out, so now you see it's just bare metal everywhere. So basically what I'm going to do now is just uh, vacuum and, and clean out all the metal and start sound deadening all this. I mean, it's going to be some work, but... I mean, I have to get up in there as best I can. I mean, it's going to be a nightmare getting up in all these areas, but I just got to do it. I still have to take that piece of carpet out, carpet panel. So, and then I want to do this back panel right here. As you can see, it's going to be a pain. I'm going to cut little pieces and put in the, reach inside the holes the best I can to put some in there and then just do the whole front. So I got three pieces on. I uh, cut a bunch of little squares and fit them in them holes. Took forever. <laughs> but uh, that's how the back panel is going to look. I think it turned out pretty good considering the amount of holes and contours I had to follow. So we're just going to keep at it here and uh, see how much of this we can't get knocked out. All right, well, I got myself in a tight spot now. I'm down here underneath the rear dash. It's a tight fit for a chubby fella. So we're just going to continue on here. 
I'm not really sure how I'm going to piece all this in. It's all crazy shaped. I'm just going to stick some more on here and see how it turns out. I mean, if it's not the best looking, it's okay. But <clears throat> the main thing is getting it pressed on the metal and in all the forms. And all the contours of the metal real nice. So... Let's just continue on here and uh, get more of this on. All right, so I'm calling it good on the sound deadening. I'd say I got at least 80% coverage. I got most of the floor. You know, the whole back. Up in the side panels. The whole rear dash, I did the hole underneath. You know, there's some corners I missed, but it's still good. It's going to be an amazing improvement, I'm sure. So, you know, I even wrapped around. It looks great. You could even hear the echo once I put my head down in here. So. I'm pretty much calling stage one done. Sound deadening the trunk. This is good enough for me. So we're going to get to putting all the carpet panels and trim back in. And uh, start on part two.